are pretty good. Wow, these are buttery soft and subtly sweet. For once, the dating profile was not lying. Yeah, every bite was just right. Stop catfishing me, baked goods. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Kitchen Jordan Show. All right, guys, so it's 10 a.m. Chris and I are filming, and we're filming a special video today, one that has been requested, and one that is unique and different from the ones we usually film. And to tell you all about it, take it away. Take it away. Take it, take it away. Take it away. We're going to Aldi. <laughs> nice boobs. Thank you, I grew them. Oh, oh natural. No, I mean, you can have boobs however you want though. Yeah, mine are GMO. <laughs> <laughs> They're made of corn. We're at Aldi. It's so cool, look at that. It's a food market. Neither Kristen and I has ever been to an Aldi before, but this has been a very requested video. People seem to really like Aldis. Yeah. We're also not gonna film in there, cause I don't know, we should just, we don't wanna get, we don't, we don't, you know, we don't know if we, we want to. Listen, Aldi is a, a, a very important I keep hot sauce in my car. Okay, let's just get, let's get. <laughs> my boobs are made of corn! You already know from our vlogs that we went to Aldi today because we're doing a special variation on our grocery store tries. Usually we do Trader Joe's, but all of you, as we said, you recommended Aldi. Yes, we are trying every single Aldi baked good or everything that was in like the pastry section. Basically the, the baked desserts. Yes. Like no breads. No, because that would have taken too long. That would have taken too long. It's boring. So uh, to clarify what that means, it's basically everything that comes like in a clear plastic. Like if you can see a window into the muffin so then like we're trying it. As usual, our rating categories are just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely suck, penalty box bad! Into the box with you! Yeah, go to hell and say hi to Ronald Reagan. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm excited to try the baked goods. Okay. What's, what's first? This is the closest thing and I'm already really unhappy about it. So this is the unicorn frosted sugar cookies. So most like major grocery store chains have their own variation of this like frosted sugar concoction. It's nut free. I'm not partial to these cookies because when I was a teenager, I ate too many of them and then got sick. I told Jen she did not have to eat these cookies. Yeah, I don't want to. We were gonna have like a little meltdown in the all day unless I found a compromise. So. <laughs> anyway, uh, these are the unicorn cookies. They're just kind of like, they're, mm, just... they're so penalty box bad. Yeah, they're like toddler playset colors. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Give it a taste, just like smelling them. Does not taste like a unicorn. I mean, those are rare. You're right. Do you like it? It's a fun color. Yeah. It's pretty decent. Here's the thing, the cookie itself is like dry. And like this cookie like evaporated all the liquid out of my mouth. <laughs> These are bad. They taste good, they just do bad things to you. I don't want them near me. Okay, this is just okay. Goodbye. Unicorns are just okay. Is That's it... not true about real unicorns. They're amazing. All right, we're gonna move on to something that will make me less uh, mentally okay. ill. Next up are the original two bite brownies. And I believe these are America themed for 4th of July. Two by brownies? Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, I don't, I might, I might, I might. What am I saying? <laughs> oh, I really hate like frosting. Well, this is gonna be a long video for you then. Oh, you know, we actually didn't say at the beginning how many we think there are. Oh, fuck. All these baked good, of which there are. 23. Maybe. Maybe. They're a little dry. They're kind of like an elevated version of the thing I just ate where it's like the brownie itself is like, it's kind of like a stale cupcake. It doesn't taste bad. These are like the brownies you'd eat like in Mad Max Fury Road, where it's like, there's no water. So it's like, you kind of It's like they were do. made with sawdust, yeah. but sawdust and chocolates. <laughs> it's okay. It's just okay. They're not offensive. These are the mini palm ears. So I believe these are like, like the elephant ear shaped cookies. They're subtly sweet and perfectly crisp. Ooh, they broke. Oh, you broke one. I broke one. Too crisp. I mean, it's either a heart or like a bet. <laughs> you can see the layers. Could be good. Let's do it. A little stale. Are these expired? Nope, sell by seven too. Oh. They're not expired. They might just be kind of bad. It says every bite is just right, but I don't know. To me, they taste like just a decent shortbread cookie. Maybe if you had like some coffee. These would be good to dip in, mm -hmm. which maybe that's what you do with this type of cookie they anyway. Can, they can withstand the coffee, but they, they, I'm, I'm good with this. Yeah. These are just okay. They're just okay. These are just okay. So these are the Madeline cookies. Buttery soft and subtly sweet. Every bite is just right. That's what they keep saying. They keep insisting that every bite will be just right. And it's like, every bite is just okay. <laughs> so far. All right. These are pretty good. These are pretty good. They have a nice Ooh, flavor. Nice aftertaste. They have a really good texture. They're crumbly. They kind of melt in your mouth. They're very mm. buttery. Madeline's. Madeline's, really, really great. great. Yeah, okay. Oh, these are fun. These are the chocolate chip muffins. I love chocolate chip muffins. I know that like it's kind of a childish <laughs> choice for a muffin, but. I like when breakfast masquerades as dessert. Yeah. Wait, okay, fine. <laughs> this is a cake. Just say you're eating cake for breakfast. Ooh, oh God. Oh man, this is delicious. I haven't eaten it yet, but I just can assume. I love chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate! <laughs> 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 
There's a little bit of a, a kind of sour aftertaste into this that I'm not crazy about. Oh, I don't taste that at all. Honestly, I hate to say this, a little bit more melted. They're like a little too hard. It's sort of like someone made a muffin and then sort of like injected whole chocolate chips in there. It's just not blending well. The thing about a muffin is that once the ingredient goes into the muff, it must synergize with the rest of the oven. Yeah. So like it can't just be like its own thing. It can't, no. You know, it's like teamwork makes the dream work, muffinologists. Kind of sprinkle in my lap. Interesting. <laughs> Are you gay now? I think it took it back. Okay. It's just okay. It's just okay. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Hope you find your dad. Bye, buddy. These are Reese's Pieces chocolate peanut butter candy cookies. You didn't want to try these. I didn't want to try these. I still kind of don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I have my first dentist appointment in like over a year next week. And like she's just going to look in there and just probably be like, oh, f <laughs> the closest thing I think we get to getting report cards as adults is going to the dentist. I really don't like it when <laughs> women look in my mouth and are disappointed. <laughs> All right. They're very dense. They are super dense. They're a little bit dry, but at the same time, I do like the combination of the like the Reese's candy with the cookie. So the chocolate peanut butter candy cookies. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. This is a question for you. So this is the Seven Up cake. Is this a Southern thing? I don't know. I don't think I've had a Seven Up cake before. I love Seven Up. I like lemon lime. I actually am very excited about this. That's why we're trying it sooner. I've had Jen fetch it from the back of the pile. Do you want to just bite of what yeah, I cut off? I want this thing. No, oh, I want the part with the frosting. Okay. Keep going. Well, Kate. Oh God. Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't it look good? <laughs> that cake, like, it's like glistening in like the lights. It is glistening. It's beautiful. What? Oh, wow. Hmm. You definitely get the lemon lime flavor. This is awesome. Very this good. whips. I like this cake. Holy, oh yeah. All right, lemon lime cake. It's really great. It's really great. I love it when like we get some really greats to kick off a video. It jump starts the old endorphin machine. I know, because normally if we eat like 10 things that are bad in a row, <laughs> we're just like, well, I guess this is just the video we're in for the next two hours. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I appreciate that this cake actually comes with like, uh, the cake thing has like its own little, it keeps it centered. Yeah. Because it has like a plastic thing. Ooh, I'm excited about these. I love donuts. They're donut repack. So these are all the donuts they sell. They had a variety pack of these, so we got them. But we have a plain donut, a powder donut, and a chocolate donut. They do sell these donuts separately, but we figured let's just get like a multi-pack. You know? Cut to the chase. It's, ooh, these are. Ooh, this is dry. I know. <laughs> No, that is maybe the worst one. Uh, that's apparently box bad. You could build a skyscraper out of this. I'm someone who likes stale pastries. At what cost? Uh, my teeth, honestly. <laughs> Literally like, I think they're just a little almost, stale. Oh my God, those are very stale. They are, they're a little bit stale. Let's try this. Okay. Better. Better. I feel like these chocolate donuts are sort of like your garden variety. Like Entman's, you know? Like Sunday school. These are when somebody is like assigned to bring snacks for the day and mm -hmm. their dad is the one that has to do it. So they run to Target. <laughs> yeah. And they get these. Well, they run to Aldi. They run to Aldi. <laughs> Powdered, you wanna cut in half? Ooh. These are a little, you know what? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Oh, these are hard too. These are hard too. I'm wondering if the chocolate shell prevented these from drying out mm -hmm. and then the powdered and the plain, because these are, oh no, my God. these are very stale. These are unedible. These are awful. Powdered and the plain are penalty box bad. The chocolate is just okay. It's okay. Oh my God, these are vile. Obviously these are a little stale, so they're probably, they could be better if they weren't, but these are the Aldi blueberry mini muffins. Bloopers. And ooh, you can smell the blueberries. It's okay. naturally and artificially flavored. Just say flavored. Cause like how else could it be flavored if it's both of those? Shower thoughts. <laughs> I don't know, are you gonna have one too? Oh, we're not sharing? No. Fine. You smell funny. I think they taste pretty good. Really? Mm-hmm. Just so you guys all know, I don't know if I've talked about this yet. So I had COVID last year, got it through a mask. Pretty pissed about that. <laughs> But you know, what are you gonna do? They're not foolproof. Things can happen. Obviously still wear your mask. Get vaccinated, wear your mask. If, <laughs> yeah, you, if yeah. you can get vaccinated. Yes. But anyway, because I got COVID, my sense of smell never really came back correctly. It's back and I can smell some things, but other things smell weird or off or bizarre. And also whenever there's like onions within like, honestly, like a 10 foot area, I'm just like, Bleh. I don't think I'll ever be able to eat onions again. Wine smells weird to me now. There's a, a scented candle I had that I love that doesn't smell the same anymore. It sucks. Like it just, it's not a matter of like, I don't have smell. My sense of smell is like, blah, 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 blah. That is to say, because this smells kind of like weird, weird to me, I don't, I don't trust that. They smell, they smell like kind of lemony. It's weird. No, they smell citrusy to me too. Oh, ah, 
Ah! I think the artificial fruit flavoring all kind of like runs together anyway. Mini bloobs. Mini bloobs, bye. That's okay. These are the Aldi kitchen sink cookies. Rich peanut butter cookies with chocolate chumps, peanut butter flavored chips, white chocolate chunks, pretzels, and coconut. That sounds like attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. <laughs> I guess it's everything but the kitchen, kitchen sink. sink. But like they're not kitchen sink flavored. You just love to lick that sink. Let's turn that into like a new gay slang thing. <laughs> Cheryl loves to lick the sink. Ah. <laughs> I like these. These are really good. <laughs> you would think that it might be too much, but actually the flavors all kind of work together nicely. Well, it's like not everything is in every bite. It's True. like some part of the cookie is like chocolate territory and some part of it is like- Coconut nuts, territory. Nuts or pretzels or like, yeah. The kitchen sink cookies. Really, really great. great. Oh my gosh, look at all these winners. Wow. So this then. <laughs> these are another variation of the sugar cookies that make me chuck. So Kristen's gonna be trying this one. One thing I will say that I appreciate is that they very clearly say made in a peanut and tree nut free facility up top. That is nice. Which like the thing about, you know, allergies are hard. Yeah. You gotta do a lot. Anyway, these are patriotic cookies. <laughs> patriotic cookies, I, don't know, I guess. I don't know why they're patriotic. Like, I'm not sure. they, they vote. I think these are gonna taste the same as the unicorn cookies. It's like smelling them. I'm just like, My bottom part of these are so dry. I can't even finish the bite. Okay, I'm gonna close this because you're losing your mind. <laughs> Anyway, these are just okay. Just okay. Next. I, I want to promote those patriotic cookies to Petaloo Box Bed. Okay, fuck them. The aftertaste is like, it's like if a cookie was made of pennies. Yeah, it's like say hi to Phyllis Shafley in hell, bitch. <laughs> I just watched Mrs. America. <laughs> <laughs> These are the Aldi Bake Shop Banana Nut Muffins. I do love banana uh, nut muffins, usually. I mean, banana nut muffins, it's sort of a standard, you know? It, yeah. Mm. These are better than I expected them to be. Mm -hmm. These are perfectly serviceable muffins. There's a lot of nuts even the within nuts, in the muffin. Yeah, it's just extreme, a lot of nuts. Just big nut, big nut contingent in this muffin. More nuts than I would have thought. Just nut, nut, nut all over the muffin. <laughs> Stop saying. No, no, nuts on the muffin. I think these are just okay. They're just okay. They're not gonna make you nut. <laughs> Okay, gross. What? <laughs> you don't even watch that show. I don't watch it. What show is that? The Office. Oh, I've seen it. You know, there's Joey and Chandler and Monica and Skippy and Homer Simpson. Slappy. And, and Bart. And the stinkers. <laughs> oh my God. It went wrong. <laughs> But there's no way to know that, that, if that could have been prevented. I don't think it could have been. So these are the peanut butter candy cookies with, with Reese's peanut with butter Reese's cups. With Reese's peanut butter cups. I think these are like the non-chocolate versions. I'm not even gonna have a whole one. Honestly, I like these. I like these too. I don't normally like peanut butter cookies. There's something about the, like, the crunchiness of the Reese's and like the, the peanut butter just tastes great. This is Pieces recipe. I feel like there's a reason why food scientists have perfected her through generations since the middle ages. It was said that the dinosaurs found the first Reese's Pieces piece. Yes, they kept it a secret until the roaring 20s when they came back and ate us all. Oh, prophecies. <laughs> these are pretty good. We might call you the next day. Yeah, well, maybe. E, Aldi mm. lemon sliced loaf cake. I have high hopes for lemon things. You really like lemon desserts, which I, I do. Which I think is is nice. It's sweet. It's yeah, sweet it's, that it's, your mouth has a hobby. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. It's very moist. It's not as good as the Seven Up cake. I think the Seven Up cake is basically a superior version of this. Yes. Get the Seven Up cake. I think that if we had not tried the cake, we would be like, yeah, these are pretty good. But I think because we have tried the cake, it's like we know. I still think these are pretty. These good. are still pretty. You're right. We're trying these at the same time because they're in the same family. So we have the mini croissants, and then we have the regular croissants. The maxi croissants. Yes, and they're different shapes. I don't know if they're different recipes, but I feel like the size and shape could mean they have taste different because they'll bake differently. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why I grabbed both of them. I know in the store you were like, we don't need both. And I was like, mm, integrity. Right away, I'm noticing that there's a significantly different bake on a lot of these. This one is a little overdone. This one's a little underdone. So it's like, mm. All right, let's try the mini croissants first. Mm -hmm. Not flaky. Not flavorful. Mm -hmm. You know what? These will be really good in bread pudding. The thing about like croissants that are from a grocery store is that they're not going to compare to like a croissants done by a bakery that are flaky and, and have the layers and stuff. These are very dense. At the same time though, I do think they, they kind of taste like a good English muffin to They me. taste like bread, honestly. Though. Yeah, they this is like just kind of like white bread. They taste like brioche. You could make a probably pretty good sandwich out of this. It's just not a croissant. How? How would you make a sandwich out of this? Like this. Like, like this? What, what would you? Like this. <laughs> this is how I do. <laughs> All right, let's try the big croissant. Okay. Is it? Okay, they're the same. <laughs> yeah, okay. These are just okay. They're not really croissants. They're just kind of like bread and funny shapes. <laughs> Which honestly makes me like them more. You do you, girl. Yeah. Love is love. It's Pride Month. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Stop 
The croissants. <laughs> Five left. This is the strawberry cheese Danish. We haven't had many like strawberry flavored. This might be the only strawberry flavored thing. We tried to go to Denmark for empty suitcase. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. Did not happen. Did not happen. <laughs> this is the closest you'll get to us in the Dane. This smells like Entenmann's. It does smell like Entenmann's. Here you go. Not bad. I think it's a decent Entenmann's dupe. It tastes like your classic fruit pastry. You know, the fruit's tart, pastry's crumbly, yeah. buttery. It's not as like greasy as I might want. And I think this would be really good with like a hot cup of coffee. Oh yeah, I mean, that's what it's for. Exactly. It's for adults talking about PTA cards. Cards. <laughs> Pokemon cards. <laughs> Pokemon, I don't know. This pretty is pretty good. good. Pretty good. I'm getting sugared out. Now. This is their oatmeal cranberry cookies. Oh my God, I can't believe we waited till the end to do this. It's not Christmas, okay? I don't want to see a cranberry until November 1st. <laughs> Let's eat it. Okay. No. No. I politely no. decline. Not for me. <laughs> More like gingerbready. Oh God. There's like a molasses type flavor in them. Also like- Yes, molasses. You can't spell not molasses terrible. without- yeah. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Chris and I gotta stop doing sugar. This tastes like seasonal we, affective disorder. We are sad. I think these are just okay. They're just okay, but like. But like, we're not okay. We're not okay. We are penalty box bad. We are penalty box sad. These are the mini chocolate chip muffins. Cute. I want them. It's the same problem as the big one. It's not a cohesive bite by any means. It doesn't feel like these two collaborated on this project. It no. kind of feels like they did their own thing and came together. I think these are just okay. These are just okay. But they're cute. Listen, cuteness gets you pretty far in it, this world. Yeah, it gets you at least to the mouth. These are the blueberry muffins, the big blueberry muffins. So the blueberry muffins? No, blueberry. Oh, I was like spooky. These are the tits muffin. <laughs> okay, I already have a big critique about these blueberry muffins. Here's the thing about blueberry muffin tops. They're dedicating a lot of space to cake and not a lot of space to crumb. The point of the top of a blueberry mutton. The point of a top of a blueberry muffin is to be a vehicle for the delicious crumb topping. If it's not wearing a hat, this is like a fucking muffin with male pattern baldness. It needs more, it deserves more. Oh, I didn't really understand. Okay, that said though, it's pretty Very good. Very fruity. <laughs> I also just think the blueberries, because like they're more concentrated, they just are tastier. These are pretty good. Wow, wow. actually these are, pretty are good. weirdly, these are better than the mini ones. Just go big. They are. This is the last item. Oh, thank God. It's also the one that I kind of dropped on my way out of my car. <laughs> This is the triple chocolate cream cake. So it's got like a lot of like chocolate frosting drizzled all over it. It's a bunt cake. I mean- It's like the cake from that one scene in Matilda. Yes. Oh, a hundred percent that, yes. I realize yes. it makes it not very appetizing sounding, but- The funny thing was, is like, I know we're not supposed to find the scene in Matilda appetizing, but like- You do? I kind of do. Okay, well- This is place. the messiest cake. It is a messy cake. I think maybe bodes well, cause you're like, oh, it's, oh, is it, it's like moist, so the flavor Just cho here's the thing, chocolate on chocolate on chocolate, I think it's like- It can be a lot. It seems like it's gonna be good, but actually like it just, the flavors aren't balanced. Oh. Mm. It's fine. I like it. I like chocolate cake a lot. I do too. Oh, well then. <laughs> the 7-Up cake was like... Much better than this. Oh yeah, way better. I would say this fine. is pretty good, I'll but... Say, I'll say it's pretty good. All right, we just did our first holiday video and we survived. We survived. What are your favorites? I really like the everything but the kitchen sink cookie. Mm. I didn't really like the stale donuts. <laughs> Those donuts were so bad. Yeah, oh, they were stale, they you know? They were so bad. The croissants were bad too. The lemon lime 7-Up cake that was delicious, as indicated by the fact that I have talked about it throughout this video. Yeah, you love it. I love it. I'm I also thought the Madelines were really good. They were actually, they were surprisingly good. The Madelines were good. I think if you liked this or if you want us to do more, comment below. If you would like to join our Patreon or follow us on the Instagram, please do that. We love you. We love you. We'll do more of these if you want. Or other stuff. Or other stuff. Also, I mean, it's getting to the point where we can go outside so we can go outside, I guess. Yeah, potentially. Poten theoretically. Theoretically. If, anyway. Well, I'm gay. Okay, and that's been a gay video. Bye. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> Sorry, is Kelly doing? Oh, you have crow in your hair. Yeah, oh, you have fuzz. It's who cares? You seem know, like a literally a big brown string. Don't worry about it. Okay. Anyway, bye. bye. That we're done. Sorry, Kelly. You have a big brown string. Though. Okay.